our approach has been bring in investors who can help us grow the business much faster. Mm -hmm. And uh, we may not look at a new set of investors coming unless there is someone who can really help us. We've got a good set of marketing investors now and uh, they're keen to do a lot more with us. So, so the investors that have invested in the EV business, for instance, could potentially invest in some of the other growth Could trends? potentially invest in other areas as well. And, and they are keen to look at what else we're doing uh, to be able to partner with us in multiple areas. Uh, but the key is, the mindset we've set now is, we will grow businesses rapidly, we will make sure they've got a strong right to win, and bring in investors who can help us further progress in that business much faster. So is that likely to be something that gets done in 2024, bringing investors on board for some of these growth businesses? Uh, this will happen from bilateral conversations. Uh, for any of our fundraisers, we haven't sort of gone out and said we want to raise funds. It's always been finding the right investor and, and bringing them in. So at this point, I can't say how many will take place, but it's something that as we develop strong business plans for each of these businesses, we will see interest from investors. The one thing that investors have told us and what they have seen is strong delivery on everything we do. Mm. Uh, so as we continue doing that, we will continue to have high demand from them. You know, when you spoke about the right to win, you said like the last few years have really been about the cleanup and you believe that that process is now over and done with and now it is about growth and stepping up on growth. Uh, there are many segments, many businesses which where you operate where you're not uh, in the top pecking order. So have you set targets for where you wish to be in each of those businesses? So each of our growth gems has to grow 5x in the next five to seven years. Uh, some of that will put us in the top two or three some of that may take a little longer to get there. For us, it's about growing businesses the right way. Mm. Uh, we have a longer time horizon in that sense while we have the urgency to grow fast right now. And uh, the key is to have the ambition and then to deliver on it. And uh, m and part of that plan or that's not something that you're considering? And I know that you said you don't have the appetite to do more outside of these existing businesses. You want to consolidate and ensure that these scale up. So uh, m and for any of these existing businesses to beef up capabilities or enter new markets, etc.? Yes, m and is on uh, the plan or the blueprint right now. The key for us again is to be able to deliver what we promise when we acquire a company. And uh, if we can do that, that will just help these businesses scale up faster. And where do you believe that you may uh, potentially look at uh, an acquisition, look at m and at this point in time across these uh, businesses? I'd say across all of them. Because when we have to grow 5x, acquisitions will be a part of that. We will have to acquire some capabilities, build some ourselves, mm. uh, and therefore we will look at acquisitions will across be, the board. Will it also be done f through the lens of trying to uh, grow out the export side of the story because that is one of your priorities as well to grow that out. Yes, we firmly believe that we can make an India for the world and that confidence we have from the quality of vehicles that we've delivered, from the quality of practice we've delivered. Uh, we are beating all the global majors in India on our vehicles. In tractors we're beating global majors often in their markets as well. Mm. Uh, so therefore for both of these product sets uh, we feel that there's a strong right to win globally and uh, we do want to be able to make an India for the world and then expand that to some of our other businesses as well. So you enter 2024 feeling confident of being able to achieve the targets that you've set out? Yes. And the history, while it's not a predictor your of the future, yes, your helps a lot. <laughs> your scorecard, which we've, which we've just gone over on CNBC TV 18, uh, uh, does reflect that you have been able to deliver on the past promises. The hope is that the future targets will also be achieved.